Hey everybody and welcome to episode 285 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, April 13th, 2016. Ricky, the new Suicide Squad trailer dropped the other day. What did you think of that? Yeah, it was pretty good. It was very much like the second one where it was like, uh, you know, lighthearted and fun, but still, you know, DC-ish. <laughs> Still had its dark, its yeah. darkness to it. Yes. Um, do you think that uh, the stories are true about them going to reshoot stuff for, uh, you, you know, for the purpose of lightening the movie up? I don't know. I mean, movies do reshoots all the time, right? So I mean, they probably are refilming some stuff, but and I, you I don't know, know if it's to make it more funny. I'm still not sold on this Joker. I'm still not no. sold on the Jared Leto Joker. Is it somebody it's who we're going to be able to take seriously? I mean, I, 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 no, that's the thing. Maybe you're not supposed to, right? He's the Joker. Joker. Whoa. <laughs> Um, but you know, I've, everybody's always had their doubts about who's going to be playing the Joker, and so far, they've all knocked it out of the park, uh, so I, I do have high hopes for Jared Leto. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, something about the trailer left me thinking that... Just Leto him do his job! On that note, <laughs> let's go ahead and open some boxes. All right, uh, first up is the collectibles for today. Not too much to show you. We got a bunch of restocked things today. But I want to show you some of the new stuff that came in. Uh, we've got a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks figure from Dragon Ball Z. Z, not Z, by the way. Captain America Civil War uh, Extra Large Dorbs figure. We also got a bunch of DC Comics buttons. All your favorite DC heroes can now be wherever you want to put them. Check this out. We've got a, another Star Wars Little Golden Book. This time it's The Force Awakens. Awesome stuff. Very cool art style on the inside. Pick it up if your kid's into uh, Star Wars at all, or if you just want to read a cool Little Golden Book about Star Wars. Rat Queens Volume 3, Bloodstain Volume 1. Mrs. Deadpool and the Howling Commandos. This miniseries appeared as part of Secret Wars. Thanos, the Infinity Finale, another in the uh, line of uh, Thanos original graphic novels from Marvel. Manhattan Projects Volume 6, the Batman Europa hardcover, and the Robin War hardcover. From Image Comics today, we have the first of uh, what's going to be a whole bunch of different preview books uh, from the comic publishers. Uh, we've got the Image Comics preview for April 2016. This preview six upcoming Image Comics titles. Definitely check it out, it's only a dollar. If any of the books ever take off, these preview books always seem to go up a little bit in value as well. From Valiant, we've got Archer and Armstrong, number two. From Dynamite, we have The Return of Xena, the Warrior Princess. Here's Adventure Time, number 51. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, number 41, has these two regular covers. Sorry, three regular covers. We've got two covers for Spawn, issue 262. Here's Jackpot, number one, from Aftershock Comics. And here's the variant cover for that book. And finally, today we have Black Road number one, written by Brian Wood, who you may remember was the creator, or co-creator, I guess, on uh, the Northlands series from Vertigo, which took a look at uh, d several different Viking-related stories. Uh, here he returns to that genre with Black Road number one. All right, moving on to DC Comics. DC's doing something really cool today. As most of you know, uh, Rebirth is coming our way in uh, June 2016. And uh, our latest previews magazine that came out was oddly absent of any DC Comics content. That's because uh, most of the Rebirth stuff hadn't been announced at the time of the printing of that magazine. Well, we have it all now, and DC has sent a bunch of these free uh, DC Comics previews to your local comic shop. So be sure to check this out and pick it up if you get a chance. Inside it details all of the DC Rebirth titles that are coming out in June. Plus it's got some other great uh, reading in there, some articles about uh, Rebirth and what you can expect in terms of uh, release timelines through uh, uh, July, August, September as well. And there's also this handy checklist that lets you know uh, the titles that are coming out and you can let your retailer know which one of these you want to add to your pull list. <laughs> so there you go, really cool uh, book to be picking up. It's got a preview of all the DC Rebirth books and uh, you know, I'm sure that you know somewhere down the line if Rebirth is successful, that uh, this could be worth something uh, in the future, you never know. Now onto the DC Comics. We've got second printings of both Dark Knight uh, 
three, the Master Race number two and three. Here's Black Canary number 10. Superman Batman number 31 has a regular cover and the John Romita Jr. variant. Gotham Academy number 17. Catwoman number 51. The Legend of Wonder Woman number four. Starfire number 11 and the Neil Adams variant. Red Hood and Arsenal number 11. Green Lantern Corps number four. Wonder Woman 77 Special number three. Batman Ninja Turtles number five. Here's the Kevin Eastman variant for that book. And we've got another new Harley Quinn book today. It's Harley Quinn and her Gang of Harleys, issue number one. This is the regular cover. This is the sketch variant where you can draw, I guess, uh, a work of art there. And you've also got the back uh, to expand on that work of art. All right, moving on to Marvel. And not to be outdone by Image and DC Comics, Marvel also has a special magazine. Uh, this is a free Captain America 75th anniversary magazine that Marvel's offering today, so look for this at your local comic shop. Lots of cool information about Cap and all of his, uh, all of his buddies and enemies and all that kind of stuff inside. Uh, some classic Cap stories, uh, not, th not the comics themselves, but suggestions on some great Cap stories. Uh, so pick this up, Captain America 75th Anniversary Magazine. Now on to the Marvel Comics. We've got a second printing of Spider-Man Deadpool number three. Illuminati issue eight, which is a standoff tie-in. Guardians of the Galaxy issue seven. Here's the Guardians of the Galaxy Civil War variant. Rocket Raccoon and Groot number four. Here is the variant for that uh, by Jamal Campbell. Mockingbird number two. Weird World number five. X-Men 92 number two. All new, all different Avengers number eight, also a standoff tie-in. Here's the all new, all different Avengers variant. Red Wolf number five. Spidey issue four. Silver Surfer number three. All new X-Men number eight. All new Inhumans issue number six. Another cover by Jamal Campbell. Soon Jamal is going to be on literally every Marvel title. A-Force issue four. Spider-Gwen issue seven is part of the Spider-Women crossover event. And of course we have some variants to go along with it. First up is this action figure variant, very cool. And we have the Civil War variant, this variant featuring Spider-Woman and uh, the Mary Janes. And finally, the J. Scott Campbell variant that connects with the J. Scott Campbell Spider-Women variant that came out last week. Got Darth Vader number 19, Amazing Spider-Man and Silk number two, Amazing Spider-Man 10. Here's the Civil War variant for that book. Moon Knight issue number one. A lot of people have been excited about this one, Jeff Lemire is on the writing duties now. A couple variants to show you for that book. First up is the action figure variant and the hip hop variant. All right, you knew it was gonna happen. Finally getting her own series, it is Gwenpool. This is issue number one, the regular cover. Here's the Scotty Young variant. Here's another variant and the hip hop variant. And finally from Marvel today, it's a special Star Wars one shot, C-3PO issue number one. Uh, this book goes into detail and reveals the backstory behind 3PO's new red arm. So this is a must have for Star Wars fans who are wondering what the heck's going on with the red arm in the Force Awakens mo uh, movie. Disney has allowed Marvel to explain it all here in this comic book. Along with the regular cover, we have a blank variant, photo variant, here's another variant. This variant looks like it's by Todd Nock. And of course, the action figure variant. All right guys, it's prize time. Last week I asked you what kind of character you'd be in the Star Wars universe. Got some pretty awesome answers. Um, Rick77 aka Tuna said I would be a Wookiee Whisperer. I would help pilots, smugglers, cantina owners, and former heroes uh, tame their Wookiees to be great co-pilots, BFFs, or just stop ripping people's arms off. Changing lives one pst at a time. I think, I feel like a lot of people need that, you know? Wookiees get a bad reputation in the Star Wars universe, but if you had a Wookiee Whisperer, you could tame all the Wookiees. Ken Ives said I would be in a band touring the galaxy, playing cantinas and CD dives. We would call ourselves the Star Custers, and we would rock. Almost sounds like the Star Cussers. You'd be like a heavy metal band that just like swears all the time. It'd be great. Raymond Rodriguez said I would be a land developer trying to build beachfront property on the island where Ray found Luke. That's a beautiful island, eh? Like, where did they even find that on Earth? I don't know, it's like, not only was it super small, but it was gorgeous, come on. Location Scout, you really did your job on that one. But the winner goes to Jonathan Rodriguez who said, I'd be one of those people who sits on their balcony and just reads and watch people fight at the streets and all that with a long tobacco in my mouth. I really like that one because, you know, he's not, you know, 
He's not going out into the stars. He's not adventuring. He's just chilling, just trying to live his life, you know? And I feel like a lot of people in the Star Wars universe just trying to live life, you know? And if you joined, why not? Just live life. So congratulations, Jonathan Rodriguez. You'll be put into the draw at the end of the month. All right, so we got this coming out this week, the DC previews. And what I want to know from you in the comments is what are you most excited for or what do you really want to see in the DC Rebirth? Um, personally, for me, I'm really excited. 100 times, 1,000 times, a million times excited for Tom King on Batman. I haven't been reading Scott Snyder's Batman just because... I don't know, after Death of the Family, I was like, meh. So I'm really excited to start reading Batman again with Tom King. Especially if it's even remotely similar to The Vision, which is B-O-T-Y, Book of the Year. So let us know in the comments what you're excited for or what you want to see in DC's Rebirth. Best answer will be entered into the draw at the end of the month. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Please remember to check out our Comic Boxer unboxings. We've got a lot of cool stuff going on over at comicboxer.com. Monthly mystery boxes full of awesome comics. You would be doing yourself a disservice if you were not a member. Remember to check your local comic shop today for those two free uh, DC and Marvel magazines. A lot of good stuff in there. And uh, I don't know, Ricky, what's, what's your plan for the rest of the week? I saw you got a new banner. Do you want to show, do you want to put up an image yeah. of your new banner? It's pretty Boom. badass. That's done by uh, Austin Sung. And yeah, it's probably the coolest thing I own. So this is uh, what, uh, when when we go to Ricky's house, this is what's yeah, outside the house. greets you at the front no. door? No, this is like for bringing to conventions and stuff. So oh, like behind okay, cool. My table, bring people in. Because I noticed like uh, everyone else at cons of sweet banners that bring people in. And then you got me, he's got nothing. Tell <laughs> you, man. It almost makes it look like there's like a gap. Like when it's like, ah, oh, that's sick. So. Uh, I mean, uh, if I were at a convention and I were looking for something new and cool, I would definitely go to the table where the guy right? uh, on his banner is just vomiting stuff yeah, yeah. out of his mouth. And imagine that basically the same size as me, you know what I mean? It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. All right. Well, be on the lookout for that at uh, a local convention in your area. Uh, we'll see you guys all next week for episode 286. Thank you once again for watching. Take care this week and enjoy your comics.